Hey, Guy Cochran here. Today we're going to be taking a listen to a couple different microphones. This time we want to focus on handheld microphones. There's some discussions in the forums right now and people want to know what do these things sound like and what scenario will I use these different microphones? Now these are handheld microphones so you're going to notice that this one's an omnidirectional. This is a brand new one from Rode. It's called the Reporter. And what an omni means is that it hears from everywhere. So as we turn it around we should still be able to hear uh, my voice just the same and you're gonna notice that there is a little bit of handling noise on this microphone But some of you might already have a shotgun microphone and you're like hey Can I just use a shotgun microphone in that same scenario? Well, let's take a look at why we may not want to use our shotgun mic in that same scenario So we have a shotgun mic here The shotgun microphone is a lot more unidirectional. So as we start to turn it away. Hello. 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 Hello so typically when you're interviewing somebody unless the, the reporter is very well versed, they might forget that when they are not cueing the microphone directly in the direction of that subject speaking, that they're not going to get that sound, that clear, clear sound, because the high frequencies are what add the quality to your voice. And so this microphone is great at picking up mid and high frequencies. So as it starts to turn off, you'll notice that the pattern falls off. So an omni is different. And you're also going to notice that the body just has a ton of handling noise. So again, back to the road reporter, you're going to notice that it hears the same. So we can be interviewing somebody that's over there and we're both going to pick up uh, our voices the same levels as long as we're at equal distance apart. So that's the benefit of an Omni. Now let's take a listen to another microphone that I've been using for a few years now and you've probably heard me with it before. Now at the same price point as this microphone, this is the Sennheiser MD46. Now, it is also a handheld microphone, but you're going to notice that it has a little bit more clarity. It's a little bit more detailed. It also has a little bit more reach, and this one's a unidirectional, so you're going to, or it's a, it's a cardioid, so it's basically hearing 180 degrees from this side, like a heart. So you're going to notice as I start to turn off access, hey, so we start to lose it, lose it, lose it, lose it. But right here, it's still pretty good. So I can be interviewing somebody, but if I forget, if I'm not wearing any um, IFB or any earbuds, and I'm the reporter, I mean, I may forget, I might be so absorbed by what my subject's saying that I might forget to turn the microphone from me back over to them. And so you might get that, that different kind of clear sound. So as you plug these modems in via their USB connections, right? Yeah. As you put those in there, it, together they could potentially actually give you more bandwidth than you ever really need. And you kind of have to pipe it down a little bit, I imagine, so you kind of manage it. So that's the benefit of the road reporter is that your reporter doesn't have to be um, remembering exactly to cue that microphone every time. Now there's an, another thing that happens, you get a little bit more handling noise when, when you've got uh, the uh, handheld and y you might notice that I'm speaking from a distance of about, gosh, eight, 18 inches maybe. Now just to compare, let's get a quick comparison of a Shure SM58, which every, a lot of people know this microphone. So the SM58, you're going to notice that it needs to be a lot closer to the person to really get good sound. As we start to go the 18 inches, it's not nearly as good. So the the, the difference in cost is pretty amazing though. This microphone's only uh, $99 versus the other ones are twice as much. So you're going to notice that um, it does reject a lot of the room sounds too. We've got a, a fan over there and it's a little bit loud and this one definitely rejects a lot more of the echo in the room as well. So let's hear what happens though in a typical environment where you might get a gust of wind on a day. So let's see what happens if we turn this fan. So I've got a fan over here. You can see if I, wow. So you can hear what's going on with that. So that's the Shure SM58. Let's go back over to the shotgun microphone for a minute. With a foam rinse screen, that's what you get. Slip over fuzzy definitely helps out quite a bit. Still got that hand handling noise, but that's uh, if you're in a pinch, your shotgun mic works works very well, especially with a slip over fuzzy. That's a KTEC slip over fuzzy. DV Creator Location Sound Package um, has this slip over fuzzy. If you've got one of those, let's hear what uh, the other two mics sound like now. So this is where it gets interesting because although I think that the Sennheiser sounds a bit clearer, listen to what happens to it. Brutal. So it can definitely pick out 
clearer sound, but you're sacrificing wind protection. So in a perfect world, you would have all of these microphones. They all serve different purposes. So I wanted you guys to hear the difference between these microphones. I hope that you enjoyed this session. Hope you guys learned something in this session. Again, this is the Rode Reporter, Sennheiser MD46, Shure SM58, and we had a shotgun mic, which was the Rode NTG2. Subscribe to us on uh, YouTube or we're at uh, facebook.com slash DVE store, as well as on YouTube and sign up for our newsletter at DVE store.com. My name is Guy Cochran. Thanks again for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this session. Catch you later.